Hello, hello. This is Goldie again. Welcome to the Google Frontline Worker SKU course. Uh, in this first video, let's talk about the overview of the Google's newly uh, launched license type, which is called Frontline Worker SKU. So let's talk about why. I mean, why is this addition in the first place? Because Google already had Google Work Workspace Starter and then Business and then Enterprise licenses. So why Frontline Worker license now? So let's talk about it because different workers would of course would have different or specific needs somebody who is sitting in the office creating content and you know doing knowledge based worker uh, type work would have different needs than somebody who is in the field maybe a manufacturer uh, manufacturing worker in the plant might be more towards you know consuming that content instead of creating it so all they need to do is collaborate somehow uh, with the with the staff that is sitting inside office seamlessly now they would be mobile of course all the time but that does not mean that they they should be compromising on the security just because they're mobile so one requirement was that there should be mobility with some security and that's why uh, to address that specific need of that specific audience Google launched this Google Workspace SKU. So now let's talk about what is it. Of course, it's a new Google Workspace license type, which is uh, specially designed for field workers, uh, keeping their communication and collaboration needs in mind so that they can access their resources, whether these resources belong to Google, for example, you know, Gmail or or Drive or Google Meet, etc., or maybe some third-party resources in case if Google is acting as your identity provider for your users to be able to access third-party applications like Salesforce, Asana, etc. And of course, it is cost-efficient, otherwise it won't make any sense. So you shouldn't be paying as a customer equal amount of money for a use case where your users are primarily consuming content, right? So that's why a frontline worker is pretty cost efficient for those use case. Google does not publish uh, the the public pricing for that. But if you check with any of the Google sales reps or maybe Google partners, they should be able to tell you the price. But rest assured, it is cost efficient in, in comparison to the regular license uh, fee that you might have paid for somebody who is sitting in the office and uh, leveraging most out of Google Workspace. One more thing, it is available in partial licensing mode, which means you know you, you can have a subset of licenses. So you can say, uh, I'm an enterprise, so I'll, uh, I have 1,000 employees, and out of, out of those 1,000, 100 or 200 are field workers. So you can have eight or 900 regular Google Workspace licenses, for example, Enterprise Plus. And for your field workers, you can have 100 or 200 uh, frontline worker licenses and let both of them work uh, in perfect harmony within the one admin console. You can do all the administration too. Now, the last point, of course, uh, because you're paying less money, you're making it cost efficient because uh, uh, frontline workers will have uh, only content consumption kind of use cases. So once you're paying less, you're meeting your use case. But on the on the other side, of course, you might be missing on a few functionalities, which we will talk about in upcoming videos. But there is always an option for you to upgrade. Uh, think of a use case where, let's say, you have a frontline worker today who is just you know consuming content, not creating content. But then his role is changed. He maybe he is getting promotion or role is changing. And now he will be an office worker where he will need more out of Google Workspace. And that might be the right time for you to just go to your admin console with a couple of clicks. You should be able to upgrade that user to regular Google Workspace uh, license types like Google Enterprise Plus or Google Enterprise, etc. Okay, I hope that video might have given you a decent idea on why frontline worker SKU in the first place? What is it? In the next video, I'll talk about the features that uh, you get when you sign up for frontline worker SKU. Tell them if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put it under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much. <music>